Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 4 raised to the power 8 over 8 raised to the power 4 minus 8 raised to the power 4 over 4 raised to the power 8. Here, let A be equals to 4 raised to the power 8 and B be equals to 8 raised to the power 4. Then we can write this in terms of A and B and this will be A over B minus B over 8 and from here we can bring this fraction together by finding the LCM so LCM here is AB and B goes here that's B cancel B remain A A times A there that's A square then minus A goes here that's A cancel A remain B B times B that's B square then we substitute our A and B back here and this becomes A square that's 4 raised to the power 8, then square, minus b square, that's 8 raised to the power 4, then square, divided by a times b, that's 4 raised to the power 8, then 8 raised to the power 4. And uh, by the time we solve this from here, we can use this power to multiply. When we multiply with this power from the law of indices, that this one we have a raised to the power n times n. So this gives us a raised to the power mn. So multiplying from there, that becomes 4 raised to the power 16 minus 8 raised to the power 8. Then divided by here, we have 4 raised to the power 8 times. 8 raised to the power 4 and uh, in the next step let's take everything to base 2 and here 4 can be written as 2 raised to the power 2 that's 4 then raised to the power 16 then minus 8 can be written as 2 raised to the power 3 then raised to the power 8 and divided by we have 2 raised to the power 2 as well then raised to the power 8, then times 2 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power 4. Then the next step, we can also multiply by this power from the law of indices, and this becomes 2 raised to the power 2 times 16, that's 32, then minus 2 raised to the power 8 times 3, that's 24, then divided by 2 times 8 there, that's 2 raised to the power 16. Then times 3 times 4, that's 2 raised to the power 12. And then in the next step, we can separate power of 24, 2 raised to the power 24 out of this by writing it as 8 plus 24. And when we write 2 raised to the power 8 plus 24, the same thing as writing it as 2 raised to the power 8 times 2 raised to the power 24. Because now when we summarize it, that will be 8 plus 24, then minus 2 raised to the power 24 over 2 raised to the power 16 times 2 raised to the power 12. And from here, let's factor 2 raised to the power 24 out from there. When we bring 2 raised to the power 24 out of that bracket, so that will become 2 raised to the power 24 out. And what we mean here is 2 raised to the power 8. Then minus, we have taken 2 raised to the power 24, that will remain 1 here. Then, divided by, here, we can add this power together because when we multiply same base, is the addition of the power. So this becomes 2 raised to the power 16 plus 12, that's 28. And then in the next step, we can subtract this power because from the law of indices, we have a raised to the power m divided by a raised to the power n so this will become a raised to the power m minus n so when we subtract this power from here we can write this as 2 raised to the power 24 minus 28 then into bracket 2 raised to the power 8 is 256 then minus 1 here we are going to have 
raised to the power minus 4. That, that's 2 raised to the power minus 4. Then multiply by 255. Go to minus 1 from here. Then in the next step, this is negative power, which is also fractional power. So we are having 1 over 2 raised to the power 4 times 255. Then from here, we can write 2 raised to the power 4. That's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's 16. Then, the answer here will now be 255 divided by 16. That's the simplified form of what we have. And also, we can do it in another way. We can change everything to base 2 first. And this will be 2 raised to power 2. Then raised to power 8. Over 8 can be written as 2 raised to power 3. Then raised to power 4. Then minus 8, that's 2 raised to the power 3. Then raised to the power 4. Over 2 raised to the power 2. Then raised to the power 8. And in the next step, we apply the power law by multiplying by the power. And this becomes 2 raised to the power 16 up here. Then divide by 2 raised to the power 12. Then minus 2 raised to the power 12. Divide by to power 16 and in the next step we also apply the law of indices when the same base divide we subtract the power and this will be 2 raised to power 16 minus 12 then minus here as well we subtract the power that's 2 raised to power 12 minus 16 and here this becomes 2 raised to power 16 minus 12 that's 2 raised to power 4 then minus 2 raised to the power 12 minus 16, that's 2 raised to the power minus 4. And uh, also, here, we have negative power. So, we can say this is 2 raised to the power 4 minus 1 over 2 raised to the power 4, which is equals to 2 raised to the power 4. It can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 16 minus 1 over 16. Here, this is 16 over 1. We find the SCM and bring this together as 1. So, we have 16 as the SCM. 1 going 16, that's 16, 16 times 16, that's 256. Then 16 going 16, that's 1, 1 times 1, that's minus 1. So now, 256 minus 1, that gives us 255 over 16, which is the same as what we got earlier. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. Thank you. See you in the next class. And bye for now.